What's up, people? I'm Ethan. And I'm Court. And we are giving you guys an update on our land and okay. what we did with that. So we sold our land. So we don't have that piece that that piece of property in anymore. And we'll let you guys know why we sold it. I'll let Courtney start first. <laughs> okay. So yeah, we sold our land back. Well, it's been a few months ago now, but it had been something we'd thought about for a while. Um, it just, you know, we were kind of naive, I guess you could say, obviously new to the whole land buying process. Um, so maybe we, I should have started first. No, you can share what you think oh. afterwards. Now, a quick word from our sponsor, F is for Freedom. Written by yours truly. Go get yourself a copy at Amazon. Okay, help us educate our kids and our future generation on their rights, freedoms, and American history. Because we need that more than ever right now. Okay? Every purchase of the book goes right back into the channel. So we're not these type of people that go and take all the money. Okay? Sponsor of the channel. My wife. Nobody really wants to sponsor us out there. But it's okay. Because if we ain't free, we turn. I would say we were naive and we were just so excited that we were a little bit like blinded by certain things. Um, it's a beautiful piece of land, don't get us wrong. And we love the area still to this day, but um, the more and more and the longer we lived out here, the further along the process we got of potentially building on there, we just started to realize that it just wasn't checking all of our boxes. We wanted something that was more secluded. We wanted something that you know, it had a gate that you could drive into, but it was basically like a, I don't know how many properties are there, like seven? It was like, it was like seven, a small community. Yeah, like, like seven plots of land. It was going to be like land. a neighborhood. Yeah, it basically was like a gated seven plot land community. But, but everybody got their, yeah, you know, yeah, acres. Plots that of land. Had, yeah. And so that part was really nice, but what we really wanted was, and we don't even need like a big gate like that, but just like you go in the gate and it's just ours. Yeah. Um, so it was just, you know, because people started to build around us which of course we knew was going to happen eventually but once we saw other people's homes and how close they were like, although mm -hmm. we had plenty of room it was kind of like they're a little too close mm -hmm. for comfort and we had no seclusion um obviously we could put a fence up we could put, plant trees but those trees would take 10 20 years to be full grown and like actually have that privacy mm -hmm. the road was super narrow and in order for us to widen it it would cut into our property the people's properties across from us and obviously you have to have everybody in that little community on board um so there's just like i mean that road part's minimal um but the seclusion part was a big thing privacy wise there were certain things like we were gonna struggle doing like he wants to have like a gun range and stuff that's the chance yeah. of us being able to do that on that property gun range. was just not going to happen because yeah. obviously there's people on either side of us. Um, so we decided to put it on the market, sell it. It did take longer than we hoped, but it sold. The way I felt about it. Yeah. Okay, so we didn't sell it based off money. Let's no. just tell, tell no. that right then and there. We weren't trying to get money or like... We sold it because we didn't... We, we did a lot of accepting yeah. type things where oh, we're like, yeah. we'll, okay, we can work with that. Because it had light restrictions. We can work with that. We can work. When we first sought out, like when we sought out to um, purchase land, our first piece of property, I always said, I'm going to get unrestricted land. I'm going to get unrestricted land no matter what. But when it came to, when we saw this property, we're like, Maybe we can work with just, you know, light restrictions. And so we kept giving ourselves a, like, I don't know. Uh, well, because the light restrictions weren't anything It crazy, wasn't anything major. And it didn't bother us. It was like you had to build at least a thousand square feet or more. And there was no, like, you couldn't have a mobile home, which yeah. that part didn't bother us at all. We're like, okay, that's fine. And there was no HOA. There was never going to be. Mm -hmm. But as time went on, that was a big reason too. It started to Things, feel like that yeah. and change into yeah. that. Um, because since we weren't out there, obviously all the time, it's a couple hours away from where we live currently. 
and we were like okay let's like get our money's worth out mm. of that beautiful land and pond and so he started putting it on airbnb, airbnb people started coming through, yeah and then that became a problem that, the guy that you, you, sold us the land and still owned a couple plots was like hey this is a problem i prefer you not you know, to yeah and I, i'm like i respected it i'm not like, all right but you know, I felt like at that point it didn't mm. feel like my piece of property. It didn't feel like our property anymore. Yeah. It, it felt started like to feel like an HOA. We had to kind of like maneuver around things, and and that's okay. You know, some people are willing to play ball. Not me. Uh, well, not us. <clears throat> and so, the biggest thing for me, what turned me off, is that I didn't really see myself living there anymore. And uh, so, if you guys are looking at a piece of property, like we did all the steps. We went there, <laughs> saw it. Um, we walked the property, um, but once you actually live in an area for a year or two, you start seeing other, like, yeah. I'm there, oh, I could have had this, I could have, so luckily we were able to get from under it. We still made a profit off of it, but, you know, looking back, I'm like, I'm so glad we got rid of it because mm -hmm. to me personally, like, it was, to me, like, when I see pictures now, I'm like, it didn't look like that great of a property. Um, we didn't have no privacy. We didn't have any um, other things that we were our non-negotiables. We were negotiate. We were allowing it to be negotiable. So, I would say if you're looking to buy a property, even if you're buying a home, if you have a checklist, I would make your checklist of like this is. Mm -hmm. I'm not negotiating on yeah. this. These I'm okay with. Like yes or no. Um, and we had that list and we were like, okay, you know, flex, we've decided we're, to be flexible when yeah. we really shouldn't have been. So now we're like, okay, nope, it doesn't have this, this, and this not going to happen. Not doing. So, so it's taking us way longer yeah. this time to find what we really want. Yeah. Our realtor don't like it. Like it's too much. Um, we, Evie, you're the longest person you know, I ever had to work with. I'm like, hey, I'm like, honestly, you, I have, gotta, you know, yeah, you have every right to be when you're spending hundreds of thousands of dollars, potentially 200, on, three, you, you know, hundreds of thousands yeah. on your property or your home with property. And it's a big decision. It's a big purchase. So we're going to be picky and we're not going to settle this time. We're going to find what we really want. And also because, you know, we're not just planning to be here for like a year or two. We're planning to be there for like five, ten plus years. So yeah, it just needs. It may to not be. be our forever. I don't ever like to say that, you know, wherever God takes us. But yeah, and I wouldn't get emotionally too attached to any property you have. Yeah. Like even if you guys living in a house, don't get too attached to it. Think of it as a, a way to leverage money. Well, like leverage a piggy bank, basically a bank. Um, and that's why with the land, me selling the land, I'm like, even though we really liked it at first, I was never attached to it. We're, we're closing in on about three properties. Um, we have one that we're really considering, um, but they you just know, it they does, still haven't it been. Doesn't feel perfect, like, you yeah. Know? And so it's it, it just there's always some negotiation. Yeah. <laughs> it's like oh well. And I keep telling him there's an easement here, yeah. and you can't change. You know, so I keep telling him that I always get. A feeling when we go to the right place like I got that feeling when we went to our land he doesn't that's what women it. say I got a feeling I yeah. feel it's like well I also know like we visited one that we really loved but guess what it had a gas pipe yeah it had a freaking and gas pipe before we lunging. even found that out it was not on the listing which our realtor was really annoyed about too but before we even found that out, I saw something and I just immediately got this feeling. And I, if you're a believer, you understand. But I just knew God was like mm, telling me this is not it. It's beautiful. It checks all of these boxes, but something about it is just not right. And then I kid you not, five seconds later, we see these warning signs all running the down ground. the exact spot we would have built our mm -hmm. home and saying there's a gas line. Yeah. So, and the problem with that is that. You know it's fine right now, but yeah. if it's a There's gas a leak, risk. An explosion will happen yeah. and it'll blow up. So we didn't want to put, we didn't want to. And it just creates a whole nother like hoop to jump through when you want to yeah. build or when you want to do stuff. And yeah, so we're like, you nah. obviously can't move it. But we're not, we're not angry about selling the land. We're good about it. But it's one of those things where we wanted to tell you guys as yeah. well. And, and we're not in what, a rush yeah. either because obviously we have a place to live. We're very grateful and blessed mm -hmm. to do that, be able to have a home and not worry about that. 
So it's not like we're in a rush to buy something because we're moving. Yeah. You know, we already sold our house or something. Yeah. Like that. We, we are in cruise mode where it's like, okay, we can actually choose something, take all the time we need and choose the right place, which I think is always the best decision, especially in this economy right now. Oh gosh, yeah. I know that. Hey, we see it's the insurance. We, we see the insurance rising. Car payments like 700 a month. Yeah, hey. the number of older people we've ran into. Health recently, insurance. Yeah, that have told us that stuff. It's so sad. I mean, man, we, we, we met so many people that they got priced out of their home because of property taxes that increases and all. It was crazy. And they're old and then too. food. So it's sad, but um, but yeah, we just wanted to g give you all that update. We sold our land officially, and we're gonna we're gonna buy a new piece. And obviously, um, once we do, this we'll year. share with you guys. And once we do that. Courtney said we'll share with you guys, but we wanted to, to be transparent with y'all like we always are. I'm Ethan. And I'm Court. And I'll see y'all later.